For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. So good works are not going to get you in heaven, but only by Jesus who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's Jesus speaking. The very fact is that heaven is obtained not by goodness, because we're not Great good. Day, come down to the market, pick out Heaven's fresh obtained produce, pick by what fresh Jesus seafood. Christ has done. The Bible the says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. That's right. The gospel yeah. is that Jesus Christ suffered sure. and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. That's salvation. It's not going to church. It's not being a baptized. It's not being a Baptist. It's what Jesus Christ has done. There is no Baptist. There is no Catholic. There is no Presbyterian in heaven. Only those that are washed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. Are you able to get to the Father? And the fact is, if we can earn salvation, then why would Jesus, who is God, well, <coughs> suffer and die upon the cross? Why would he die? Why would he suffer if we can earn salvation? And when we can say, oh, we're good, and the Bible yeah, no. says there is none that do it good. Let's figure out where it's at. There's no goodness in man. Man is a sinner. Yeah. For all have sinned and come short no, of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. The wages of sin is death. The very fact is we are going to die. We die of cancer, we die of coronary, we die by just going to sleep. But the wages of sin is death, and death is caused because we are sinners. And sinners cannot appear before God, for God says, Be holy, for I am holy. And the Bible says that Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is the righteous. For all have come short of the glory of God and what we do in the form of religion, we still come short. We do not appease God, but it pleased God to suffer upon Jesus, the, the sinner of man. The Bible says the Lamb of God which takes away the sins We all have a sin condition. It's a terminal condition. And no human doctor, no medication, no alcohol, no cigarette, nothing can cure you of your sin but the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come now, let us be together, God says, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. We need righteousness that we do not have, for none are righteous, no, not one. So where do we go for righteousness? We go to Calvary's cross. We go to Jesus suffering and dying according to the scripture. And we go to Jesus that was buried. And the victory coming out of that grave three days and three nights according to Thank the scripture. Thank you. All right, you have a good day now. means of salvation. There is nothing you can do that will please God. And the devil and man have made up ways and have made up circumstances and traditions that God does not approve of. God only approves of Jesus Christ, and only Jesus Christ. There is nothing else that can save your soul. There is nothing better than the finished work of Jesus Christ. 
And when you are going to rely on anything but Jesus, you will fail. And you will go to hell and burn forever. And when you are called up to Judgment Day, you will find that baptism is not the answer God takes, and you will be cast off into hell when Jesus will tell you, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And yes, God is loving, God is holy. And God has prescribed a way for you to be saved, and it is only in Jesus Christ. There is nothing else that can save your soul. Going to heaven is not, I think so, I wish so, it's not a, a hope so. Going to heaven is by the finished work of Jesus. And only by Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. Only by Jesus Christ are you able to get to God the Father. And God has sent forth his men to preach the word so that you will not think that you can do Good to see you, young man. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming. What you think you can do that does not appease God. Because you cannot appease God by religion. You cannot appease God by work. Your checkbook is not going to please God. What please God is the abusement, the suffering of Jesus Christ for sinners. And we're all sinners. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You're going to stand before God one day, and you better have the blood of Jesus Christ. No blood, no entrance. No Jesus, no salvation. And you can want all you can want about going to the judgment day, but without Jesus, you will fail. You will be into the lake of fire. And heaven and earth shall pass away. The word of God will never pass away. And Jesus is that word. That word of God, Jesus Christ, is forever. You're not forever. Charity of charities of giving money to organizations that will fail. I don't mean charity of love of the Bible. I'm talking about charity of giving money to help organizations that will fail. Baptism and water baptism will dry up one day. But in all glory, Jesus is scarred on his body because of our sin. Jesus has been marred because we have sinned. Welcome everybody. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's no pleasing God without the Son. And without the Son, there is no life. Now, there's eternal life, life after death, but the Bible says if a man is cast off into hell, that is no life. Eternal life is what Jesus Christ offers to us by a gift, 
and that we are to receive by faith in the blood of Jesus Christ, that we may enter into glory before the Father by the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You're not safe in your religion. You're not safe in being a good person. You're not safe by ignoring God. Because when you come out, and wherever you be in the world, and you're confronted with a preacher on the street, you're confronted with a gospel tract, you, someone has opened their Bible to show you salvation through Jesus. That is the love of God. And we here are told that for the lost to have the hope. And that hope that's in Jesus alone is for you to put your faith and belief upon Jesus to be saved. I am here to certify you. I am here to tell you that without Jesus Christ, you are not safe. And with Jesus Christ, you will have eternal life that cannot be lost into a glorious hope place prepared by the Father through the Son. And I'm here to put a wet cloth upon your thinking your church, thinking you're good enough, thinking that God will allow everybody into heaven later on. And I'm telling you, you've been deceived. For broad is the way that leadeth into destruction, the Bible says. And many go that way. Many. The Bible says many of you will go to hell. Straight is the gate that leadeth to life. And the few be that find it. The Bible says few go to heaven. The Bible says many go to hell. And we are sent forth to preach the gospel that the gospel of Jesus Christ that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, that is the way of hope. That is the way of salvation. That is the way to get to heaven. Anything else but Jesus is the entrance into a place called hell. And as a man will spend eternity in heaven through Jesus, a person will, sp will spend eternity in hell without Jesus. If you receive Jesus, God will receive you. If you reject Jesus, Jesus will reject you. And if you are ashamed of Jesus, you get the shame of Jesus placed upon you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's Bible. There are no sacraments in the Bible. There are no means of going to God except by Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You can have it no other way for God will have it no other way. Salvation is wrought by Jesus and Jesus alone. 
And if without Jesus, I will tell you, the Bible says you will not make it to heaven even with good intentions. Good intentions do not get you to heaven. Faith and belief in Jesus Christ is the means. Your salvation is the salvation of God and without it, you have no hope. You have not pleased God. And we cannot please God when we're not good enough. And we can't be good enough without Jesus Christ. We must take on God's righteousness. He became sin for us, who knew no sin, that the righteousness of God might be through him, Jesus. Your righteousness is not your church attendance. It's not you giving money. It's not doing good. You can be never good enough in this age to outdo what Jesus has done. When you think of the good that you can do, you have already failed before you start. The Bible says you are already condemned. Now, you need to be uncondemned by the faith and belief in Jesus alone. And only by Jesus. The glory of God is not you. The glory of God is Jesus Christ. It's that simple. If you want to go to heaven, if you want peace, if you want joy, long-suffering, and patience, and you want to go to be with God, you do it through Jesus Christ alone. And that's it. You cannot satisfy God with anything but Jesus. You can't. It will not be accomplished. It is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Or, Lord, look what I've done. Look what I did. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Plain and simple. Jesus is the way to get to God. Anything but Jesus, you are not going to be in the presence of a holy and righteous God, ever. And it's so simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. You cannot, you will not, you are unable to get in God's presence without the finished work of Jesus alone. For by grace are you saved through faith, it is not of ourselves, least any man boast. Uh, well, before I play this song, I'll tell you. No title, no duty will get you before God. God has set forth His Son. God has set forth the standard. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Um, 
It's called Perfect Winter Day. Uh, I wrote this song uh, seven or eight years ago, I guess. But it's about uh, my wife and I when we first met. We used to uh, we used to meet at this little park in Mobile, Alabama, called Municipal Park. And pretty much just holding Bible hands says, dogs. "Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved." Really know we're gonna, we're gonna Salvation in the entrance into heaven is only by Jesus. Uh, 40, 40 years ago. And if you've got any other means of approaching God, I will tell you through the Bible, you're not going to make it. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You must be blood washed. In the blood of God, Acts 20, 28, to be saved. As she dances plus to me, broken pieces, unseen. God, our creator, has solved that his creation failed. His creation disobeyed him. Adam and Eve disobeyed God, and that's why we got sick. That's why people died. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And you are perfectly safe in Christ. You are perfectly safe and secure in the finished work of Jesus. But without Christ, you're going to hell. Your ability to go to heaven has been settled by God. And when I mean settled by God, the finished work into heaven is by God. The sinless perfection of Jesus Christ. An offering that Jesus made to God without spot. And when we offer to God, we offer God stain and tainted offerings. Except the finished work of Jesus. And only by Jesus Christ is a man able to be saved. And only by Jesus Christ is a man capable of going to heaven. And God has set forth His Son for our sins. And only for our sins can the Son and the blood of God appease of our sins. For believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Satis satisfaction of God is in Jesus only, and only Jesus saves. Now you may get satisfaction with what you do, but it's not about us. Because you approve doesn't mean that God approves. Hey, how you doing, sweetie? How are you? How you doing, sir? All right. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ you know and thou shalt be saved. Many people.
people say, oh, I came up with the idea, God must approve. That is wicked. Because some people may think, oh, I got Judgment Day and I got whiskey, I'm okay. No, you're not. You've been deceived. Oh, if I give enough money, God will be happy. You've been deceived. What can you do outside the love of God that Jesus Christ suffered and died upon Calvary's cross? What can you match? The gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died, according to the scripture, and was buried and arose again the third day, according to the scripture. Jesus is the way to heaven. Not you, not your church, not your beliefs, not your ideas, Jesus alone is able to save and willing to save. You come to God through Jesus and only through Jesus Christ. If you're not washed in the blood of Jesus, you're not washed at all. You stand still in your sin. Unless you have come to Jesus. And by faith the Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. You've got to be washed of your sins and it's only through Jesus. Baptism adds to sin. Church attendance adds to sin. Because they are not approved by God. The Bible states, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That saying is that simple. I mean, if you're satisfied, it doesn't mean God's satisfied. Because you believe it is so, doesn't make God believe it is so. We've got to weigh what we think by the Bible. This, this song is about. It's called, I belong in heaven. And you don't belong in heaven. You go to heaven by the blood of Jesus alone. And being a Baptist is not going to get you to heaven. Being a Catholic is not approved by God. The Son, God, Jesus is approved, and only by Jesus. clearly states, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that plain and simple. In heaven, the angels disagree. I belong in heaven. Will become of me. I belong. You can hear this music, that's Mac playing his foolishness. That has nothing to do with the ministry. I don't know if you can hear his DJ. He's got a song, oh, I, I belong in heaven. No, you don't belong in heaven. 
It's only by God's mercy and grace you get to heaven by Jesus. You may think, but your thinking may be an error. And if you're not careful, you'll find yourself in hell. There's only one way to heaven, and that's in Jesus. That's it. That is it. The glory of God is not you, it's Jesus. The angels don't want me. Don't want me. Too deep.